Welcome back to B Spice. In this session, we'll talk about control valve packing material selection. Very, very important aspect pertinent to control valve. So I uh, hope you had watched my previous session on this control valve material selection. That is for the body material. And the last session is on the, what is that, gasket, okay? So this is about the packing. As you can see here, this is the one, the packing, okay? Right. So um, what we are going to talk here is, we are going to talk about the purpose, why uh, this packing is needed and what are all the design criteria we need to follow, okay? So some of the packing, spring-loaded Teflon packing, okay? Then jam style Teflon packing, okay? Then jam style graphite packing, okay? Then the latest technology, low, low leakage packing. And finally, we'll wind up on this live loaded packing, live loaded packing, okay? Right, so let's uh, get started, okay? So the topic here is temperature, pressure, concerns on the packing material selection. As you can see here, this is your packing, right? Yes, there's a look and feel, right? Okay, so what's the purpose? The purpose of packing is to create a tight seal between the packing bore and the valve stem. Packing bore and the valve stem, right? And to prevent the fluid leakage to atmosphere. So that is the very simple. See, imagine if your gland uh, uh, is getting leaked, okay? and a poisonous you know gas comes out that will you know uh, we have proved to be a fatal right yeah so that is the important huh? that is a very important packing is very important so when we talk about the design and selection criteria for the packing see basically low friction why we need a packing low friction so that the actuator can stroke the bag okay then also we need to take care of the compatibility of the packing components with the process plate for example, Teflon, what's the temperature? What's the compatibility? For example, graphite, what is the temperature? What is the compatibility? All these we need to watch out for. Then, of course, the compatibility of packing pots with the service temperature. How much with temperature it can withstand? Okay. So that's about the purpose and the intro part. Now, I'll straight away go into the spring-loaded uh, spring loaded PTFE packing. So as you can see here, friends, Okay, maybe I'll just explain one by one. Packing ring sits at the bottom of the packing board. As you can see here, packing box ring, okay, sits at the bottom of the packing board, right? Packing board and provides a replaceable seat um, for the spring, um, for the spring, okay? Replaceable seat for the spring. Okay, this is a spring and this packing box ring provides a replaceable seat for the spring, right? So the spring transmits the force to the packing ring. You see, you can see here, yeah? to the packing ring, okay, through the washer, okay? So the washer all actually here, okay? It's not explicitly shown, okay? So here, one point, the male and female adapter. As you can see here, this is the female adapter, this is the male adapter. So the male and female adopter form the flat surface on the top and the bottom of the packing ring. So this is a packing ring. The male and female forms the top and bottom of the packing ring stack so that the packing mates uh, packing made squarely with other components. So this is the typical structure. And we have one packing follower. After this female adopter, we have a packing follower, right? Yes. So the packing follower compresses the entire packing arrangement as the packing gland nuts are tightened. That's it. So this is about the spring-loaded uh, uh, Teflon packing. Okay, few more to add on. Here, you may ask why we are using this uh, spring-loaded Teflon, right? Spring-loaded Teflon, okay? So because they have a low friction, okay? Then chemically compatible with broad range of fluids. Okay. Then provide tight shield. They have a long life cycle. I mean, cycle life. Just imagine thousand strokes. Yes. Yeah. So that's it. Then 
provide constant loading because of the spring uh, because of the spring and thereby the minimal maintenance. So this is about the spring loaded PTFE packing. Okay. Now we'll talk about the jam style PTFE packing. Okay. So basically this uh, in some application we prefer this jam style. Okay. So let's see what are all those. Uh, yeah, of course the design. So here what is happening here is two sets of packing ring. Two sets of packing ring. One and here are separated by a lantern ring. So that is the difference here. Okay. So it is used for so hydrocarbon services and other application that must conform to NAS guideline. Very, very important. Hmm? National Association for Corrosion Engineers. So specifically, when we have a, ja uh, uh, a NAS requirement, go with jam style pack. Okay. So because the NAS guideline limit the material hardness, right? So because the material hardness is required, property for a good spring material, right? So material hardness is required a property for a good spring material, right? So suitable springs are simply not available for spring loaded. So that is why when we go for us, you can go for a spring loaded PTFE for NAS. But the problem is we, we need a hardness, hmm? material hardness. So that is the requirement for the uh, uh, requirement to meet the NAS. So because of that, we are going with a jam state PTFE packing. Okay. But here one disadvantage is there actually. What is that? It requires periodic adjustment of packing planner to ensure sufficient loading is applied to create a type C. So this and uh, this one, we need to, you know, adjust periodically. Okay. So this is about the jam style packing. Uh, Teflon. Okay. Now I'll go into the jam style graphite packing. Okay. So this is the look and feel. I will explain that. See, it's specified for application where high temperature above 450. So now you can understand. Below 450, Teflon. The above 450, graphite. Okay. Where, you know, we cannot use this, right? Above 450, we cannot use Teflon. That's it. So that is where we are using jam style, jam style graphite packing. Okay. So the construction is like this. You have the tie formed ribbon ring here. Hmm? Tie formed ribbon ring. This is the typical hmm? jam style graphite packing. Okay. And here also, you can see here the braided filament ring here, right? Okay. So high friction material and it can cause some, um, this is graphite is high friction, right? Yes, it cause, cause jerky valve stem movement. And if you keep on over tight, graphing pack, uh, graphing packing may totally seize the valve stem. That is the point. Uh, one point we need to watch out for. Of course, this may be a you know, drawback. Okay. Right. Right. So graphite tends to consolidate, you know, compress over a time and frequent packing adjustment required. This is the challenge with this. Okay. And also graphite tends to corrode and prevent valve and packing damage. Okay. And for that, we need to have a sacrificial zinc washer uh, included in the packing arrangement. So it's not a, you know, drawback, but yeah, we need to uh, mitigate with this zinc wa washer. So this is about the jam style graphite pack. Okay. Now we go into the low, uh, low leakage packing. Okay. So a low leakage packing. Basically, before going into that, I just want to give a bit of, uh, you know, a story actually. Okay. In, in North America, the Environmental Protection Agency, we call it as a EPA, has recently enacted a strict guideline for the maximum allowable leakage for specific pollutants to the atmosphere. For many fluids and application, the maximum leakage from gasketed joints and stem packing is limited to 500 ppm. Just remember this, 500 ppm. So this low leakage requirement has led to the development of several new packing designs. So this is the one of the design. So basically, we can go for this, uh, you know, uh, uh, here, we can go with the Teflon or graphite. Huh? Huh? But yeah, that is applicable up to 600 ANSI class. Huh? Okay. So now I'll go into the low leakage packing. Basically here, the low leakage packing arrangement include fewer packing. So it's not like many uh, uh, packing ring. Huh? It's only a, a few pack ring. Okay. Then a standard packing. So this inclusion of fewer packing results in a higher stress on each ring, right? Obvious, right? Yes. And higher stress results in a tighter sealing. That is the beauty. Okay. See, 
the inclusion of fewer packing ring results in higher stress, right? But higher stress results in tighter sealing. So smaller packing surface results in less stem and packing wear and improved packing length. So that is the beauty of this. See, the surface is smaller, right? So the results in less stem and packing wear and improved in packing length. Okay. Okay. So the packing uh, is a live loaded through a use of externally located bellable spring. Hmm? It's a packing in this technology, yeah? in this uh, low leakage packing uh, is also available as a live loaded. Okay. So you may ask, what is this live loaded? See, live loaded packing in a control wall involves using a, you know, conically shaped uh, bellable uh, spring washer between the gland follow, uh, gland follower and the fastener of the valve with packing. So basically the spring provides a mean of controlling the intensity of the packing stress by, you know, compression or deflection. I'm going to explain that uh, later. Okay. So live loading places a constant load on the packing. So live load packing requires less maintenance than the jam style packing. So massive guiding uh, prevents the lateral stain movement. Just imagine if there is a lateral stain movement that results in a packing damage, right? So here the massive guiding prevents this lateral movement. Okay. So that is the beauty of this. Now we'll see the low leakage packing PTFE. Okay. So this is the look and feel. As you can see here, friends, this is your anti-extrusion ring and this is the anti-extrusion ring and you have this packing ring. Huh? So there is a space here. So that is filled with lantern ring. And of course, you have this anti-extrusion washers. Okay, here in this PTFE, if it gets wet, huh? this PTFE coal forms easily and does not have a good memory. Memory in the sense, once the PTA becomes a PTFE becomes deformed, hmm? It does not return to the original shape. So that is the challenge here. So when PTFE is used as a packing ring material, a major concern is the extrusion of packing hmm, here. Okay. So the extrusion of packing is a major concern. Okay. And results in loss of sealing integrity. Hmm, okay. Right. Uh, yes. So because of this, uh, you know, Anti-extrusion rings, this is what anti-extrusion rings uh, are, uh, are used to prevent the packing ring extrusion. Okay, so only a few packings uh, rings available and there is extra space in the packing board. So that is, you know, filled with the lantern rings here, as you can see here, lantern rings. So this is the typical. So here, if you remember, we talked about the EPA, right? The America, North America requirement, right? 500 ppm. Yes. So it meets the 500 ppm leakage and up to 450 degree. Just remember, this is a Teflon packing and pressure rating of 750 PSI. Okay. So that is about the PTFP. Now, low leakage PT, uh, graphite actually. Okay. Here also, as you can see here, this is the flexible graphite uh, uh, ring actually, uh, uh, packing ring, graphite. And both sides, you have a composite ring, uh, composite type. Okay. And it's all, you know, you have the guide bushing and guide bushing all this. I will explain what is that. Okay. So this low leakage packing, one moment. Yes. This low leakage packing, a uh, graphite is used when, uh, what do you call it? Higher temperature and pressures are required, actually. Okay. So here, graphite rings and composite rings are used. Graphite ring and the composite rings are used. So composite ring, why we are using? To transmit the loading force to the graphite ring. So it transmits the loading force to the graphite ring. Okay. So graphite ring performs the primary sealing function. And additionally here, PTFE packing washers. This is the one. Huh? You can see here this one. This one, this one, yeah. PTFE packing washers are included between the packing ring to create a tight seal. See, friends, the packing ring is graphite only. But what we are using is washer, a PTFE packing washer. Okay, just thought, uh, yeah. So this PTFE is limited to 400 to 450 to prevent extrusion. Okay, so in this application, the extrusion of PTFE actually helps to produce and maintain a tight seal actually. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, it is clear, right? Okay. So probably one moment. Yeah. 
See, what is this extrusion? Basically, it's in, uh, you know, it's referred to a mechanism that controls the flow of fluid and pressure within the system of process. That's it. Huh? That's the meaning, actually, yeah, if you're really looking for that. So the point here is PTFE, you know, limited to 450 degree to prove an extrusion. extrusion. So in this application, the extrusion of PTFE actually helps to produce and maintain a tight seam. So that is why we are using this. So again, it is designed to meet 500 ppm as per the you know, the EPA, uh, Environmental Protection Agency uh, uh, requirement. And temperature, we can go up to 600 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. So this is about the low leakage graphite packing. Okay. Now we talk about the live loaded packing. So live loaded, we already discussed the definition. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. So for extremely high temperature and high pressure application, Graphite pack packing that does not include PTFE packing washer may be used. See, earlier we talked about low leakage, right? There we used PTFE packing uh, up to 450. But if it is more than 450, then extremely high temperature, say 1200 degree, then we use this graphite packing that does not include the packing washer, right friends? So the same thing as you can see here, the graphite, composite, you know, composite packing ring all there and you have a bushing, guide bushing is there. So you don't have the PTFE washer here. Okay. So additional thing is, as you see here, the Bella wheel spring. Yes. And we have the load scale also. See the maximum compression line, minimum compression line, all these there, right? Yes. I'm going to explain that. So rate it for 1,200 uh, Fahrenheit. The stem friction is extremely high hmm? and packing loads must be carefully to manage to prevent seizure. Okay. So here, adjustable bellable spring. Huh? Okay. This arrangement allows precise adjustment of the packing loading. So that is the beauty of live loaded pack. So as the bellable spring huh, or compress, the load scale, huh? as you can see here, this guy, the load scale moves down relative to the position of a fixed indicator disc. Huh? This is the indicator disc. So the load scale moves down relative to the position of the fixed indicator disc. Okay. So here the position of the indicator disc relative to the load scale provides a visual indication of what? The amount of loading force that is applied to the packing by the packing follower. You got it? So just imagine, without that, it's very challenging. So that is why this in live loader packing, we could see the amount of loading force uh, applied to the packing by the packing follower. Good? Yes. So that's all, friends. Huh? Very simple, right? So that is the, you know, live loader design. Okay. Uh, yes. So what else I can share for you? Okay. Maybe I can talk about a bit. Uh, I think it's okay, right? Yeah, it's good to go. Yes. The point is, you can see the amount of force uh, which is applied actually. Okay. Uh, yes. So I don't want to confuse with for further notes. Okay. Basic packing selection criteria. Blindly you go with this. Packing temperature above 450, select PTFE. Packing temperature, sorry. Packing temperature below 450, select PTFE. Packing temperature above 450 and minimum package, everything, sorry, this is minimum leakage. Yeah, minimum leakage after fire is required. Hmm? Uh, select graphite pack. That's it. And uh, some of the packing selection criteria also, we could have uh, covered this uh, uh, earlier, but I just want to put it here actually. See, we need to watch out for the line pressure, okay? And packing material compatibility, right? So that is also very, very important actually. Right. And compliance with NAS. Right. Yes. The jam straight packing. Right. Yes. Then leakage requirement. Of course, the environmental concern, all these, the 500 PPM, all these. Uh, then maintenance schedule and cost. This also we need to be watchful. OK. Then friction and valve performance. Uh, this is for the good uh, process control. Right, friends. So that's it. I have. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.